Welcome to the prayer for hopelessness. This is simply a prayer I've put together where I'd like to pray for anyone within the sound of my voice. All I ask you to do is to agree with me as I pray, and together we will seek our Heavenly Father. Please continue to meditate on this prayer for yourself, speak it daily, or listen to this over and over again, and allow the Word of God to reach deep into your spirit. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we gather together and come into agreement in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus. Where two or more are gathered, there you'll be in the midst of us, and anything we agree upon is touching, you will surely do. The Bible says if there's any unforgiveness, that it should be dealt with before praying. Therefore, we release any anger, bad feelings, resentment, or any other wrong attitude before you now. We lay it at your feet and we release and forgive those who have wronged us. Father, in Jesus' name, there's no distance in the Spirit, and we thank you for the listener who desires a prayer for hopelessness. If any of us looks around at what is happening in the world, it's easy to feel hopeless, God. If all this evil is occurring, many wonder, where is the good in this world? Where are you, Father? We present the listener before you who is struggling with hope. Father, you are the God of hope. Hallelujah. Your word says that you are all powerful. Your word says that despite what evil we may see around us, what you are doing for good will always outweigh it. Millions around the world are coming to Jesus. Miracles are taking place everywhere. Your spirit's moving, Father. Your kingdom is growing with leaps and bounds. Your plan is being carried out. One day, yes, one day, the trumpet will sound and Jesus will return. Glory. Above all else, you are with the listener. You've not forsaken nor forgotten them. You are with them even now. We cast all the worry, fear, depression, anxiety, any and all things that are weighing the listener down into your hands, Father, right now. Take it, Lord. Take it from the listener as they hand it to you. Wrap your loving arms around them right now. Touch them, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. You have a wonderful plan for their life. You have a purpose for them. You have told us in your word that hope comes from the scriptures. We ask for wisdom and revelation of your word for the listener. Help them, Father, to establish a healthy routine of reading and meditating on the Bible every day. We bind the scriptures, God, particularly the scriptures of hope that they read, to their heart in Jesus' name. By the Holy Spirit, teach and remind them what they have in Christ, what they can do in Christ, who they are thanks to Jesus. Yes, Lord, show them why they should have hope, which is a positive expectation of things to come in their life. Well, you're not finished with them yet. The best is yet to come. Please show them, Lord, why they should hold their ground, because you are with them and will never leave their side. Show them why they should shout, because victory is theirs through Jesus. In Jesus' name, we speak to all the forces of darkness trying to oppress the listener. We bind and rebuke you in Jesus' name. Spirit of fear, go now. We bind the spirit of hopelessness right now and break its back. We command that stronghold in the mind and heart of the listener to go now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we plead the blood of Jesus over the listener's mind, will, and emotions, over their soul right now. We declare protection right now. We declare that hope is rising up and flooding the listener right now. We bind the fact that you are with them, fighting alongside them every moment of every day to their mind. We thank you, Father, that you'll be quick to remind the listener of this. You are the lifter of their head. The listener will always triumph in Christ. Greater is he who is in the listener than he who is in the world. Jesus, who conquered the grave and rose again, is seated in heavenly places, and he resides on the listener, on the inside of the listener. He's right there with them. They are not alone. They are never alone. They are strong in Christ. Glory to you, Father. For in you is hope, as we already prayed, and in you is all the strength the listener could ever need. Thank you that you will never allow us to be moved, made to slip, fall, or fail. Together we stand our ground in you against the enemy. Thank you that your presence goes with us and that you give us rest. We are still and rest in you, Father. Lord, we know that only you can change the listener situation. All things are possible with you. We speak to the situation that the listener is facing and declare turnaround and breakthrough in Jesus' name. Ministering spirits, go forth and bring in the supply that the listener needs to see change. We bow our knees and humble ourselves before you. Praise you, mighty God, that you are the listener's deliverer. Lord, we know that you are here right now and you hear this prayer. We believe that we will see your deliverance in the life of the listener. Yes, they are filled with hope and strength in Christ even now. You are their God and they are your child. You will never forsake them. Yes, the listener will fight the good fight of faith until they see the victory Jesus paid for them. 
Grant the listener wisdom, revelation with understanding right now in Jesus' name. The direction you want the listener to go from here, Father, we declare that it is clear. Guide them, Holy Spirit, as to where to take the next step, and then the next step, and the next step. Glory, Lord. With strength, the listener will run with perseverance the race marked out before them. In Jesus' name, please help them to fix their eyes on Jesus, the author and developer of their faith. Father, we are convinced and we are sure of this very thing, that you who began a good work in this prayer will continue until the day of Jesus Christ. You will develop, you will perfect, and you will bring it to full completion. We look to you, Lord. We declare that the listener is full of hope again. They are strong, they are courageous, and they are firm in Jesus' name. We believe and receive everything we've prayed and give you glory in advance, for this prayer is answered. In the wonderful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.